All right, today is day two of getting brand new prosthetic legs made. Um, today is check socket day. So a check socket is a plastic version of the real prosthetic leg. And the reason they do this is because there's a lot of adjustments that are gonna be made. And I'm gonna put it on and tell him where it hurts, where it feels uncomfortable, what feels good, what, fe what doesn't. And we'll go from there. But join me in check socket day. Sometimes people's nerves have kind of remapped. Yeah. And so you'll say it's hurting here, and I'm seeing that it's actually hitting pretty hard just a little bit off. I didn't want to get too aggressive, so I'm guessing we probably have to wear socks. Oh, my name's Tiffany Potter. Click, 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 click. I think I'm in. Actually, that looks pretty snug. Are you feeling anything yet? No. Anything biting, pinching? No. What it does is it helps to kind of lock a little bit tighter. It's feeling loose? Yeah. Loose everywhere? Loose just up top? Loose up top. How is it down at the bottom? I think it's okay down at the bottom. Your alignment was off. Maybe that's just how you're testing. When you step, it's like you're doing this. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Let's adjust that first. Now, when you stand and you wobble, does it normally stay pretty tight on you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna have to address that. Okay. First things first. And then we gotta check your heights. I've got a couple things I gotta do before you go. Uh, none of these are Loctited. Works great for chest fitting, but you can't leave here without them Loctited and torqued. We gotta wrap this still. Oh, I would push it to the limit. <laughs> I know, and that's why we have to have the Loctite. Still looks like we gotta go more. Yeah. Yep, okay. That's something that you'll learn about me is my body is weird. Uh, you know, the thing is, is with everybody's tibia has a curve, mm -hmm. and depending on where they amputate, we'll decide how much we have to bring this out or mm -hmm. how much we don't have to. Mm -hmm. Some people, it's just a straight shot, you know, but Part of what makes that cosmetically look nice is they took all those alignment adjustments mm -hmm. and build it into the bottom of your laminated socket so it masks it, it hides it all. We can't hide it with this. So is well, that side to side or front to back? Or just all around? It's just like all of it feels loose. Okay. This one's a quarter. Now when you're standing. I feel like that feels right. That feels right. Now, was it pushing or pulling on any of the bony landmarks? The outside of the, the fib head here, the front of the tibia? I did not notice. Okay. And you probably won't until we get a three-ply sock on. Because right now it's so loose, you're probably rattling around in there a little bit. Let me go grab a three, a five, and a one. Let's see where we're at with socks. This is my leg. There are many like it, but this one is mine. So I've got a bunch of stuff that just got checked in. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen them, but they might okay, be here. So they might adjust them. Because so. I've never got that before. Okay. Oh, that was tight. <laughs> oh. What was that? <laughs> oh. Okay, go ahead and take a seat. Okay, we're not sending me on it. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. <laughs> what was that? And now it's locked up. <laughs> wow. I don't know what I did. That's new. That's not you. If it broke down, yeah. it's good that it broke down. Because yeah. we don't want to send you on something that's going to break. So we got the bindings. So we got to push down. Really okay. Do you want me to take off the lighter? Uh, can you? Maybe. If you can, that'd be no, amazing. No, I think we're too far in. Okay. All right. Because I've got another way of doing this. Okay. It's because it, it put a turn on the pin. 
You all right? Yeah, sure? yeah. I'm fine. Okay, okay. I broke uh, the first time I had a running blade. I broke it off too, like it was wrapped, and I'm just like running for alignment down the hall, and all of a sudden I'm on the ground, and I look back, and my leg is behind me. I thought I just skipped a, like a step because I didn't know how to run yet, and that's the all pro broke off. Well, was it, it a posterior? No, mount? it was a posterior mounted um, cheetah extend. Oh, jeez. And all of a sudden I'm on the ground. I'm like, did anybody get that on video? I processed, like, thank God you didn't get that on video. <laughs> yeah, that's something they don't want videotape. <laughs> I thought one, it was funny, though. This one doesn't make me too fond either. That's why we reinforce it. Mm -hmm. But it's usually, it's, well, it's usually just fine in here, and then we reinforce it before you go. Mm -hmm. Because this is exactly what can happen when you go. Now, if I'm hurting, you holler, okay? Oh, that didn't work. Probably have to go get a hammer to give it a little bit of a tap. It's that it's kind of jam it's wedged now because now there's like that funky angle. Yeah. So it's jamming up the, the device. So let me grab a couple things. We'll have you out of that in a second. Okay. So I just broke my check socket, which I've never done before, but look at this. I've never seen this before my process, never seen this before. This is exciting. A few moments later. Do you think the three might be a little too tight? No, it's just I've been putting on that leg weird. Oh, okay. So like I have to like kind of lever it. The one you came in on. Yeah, so. Oh, I'm way off now. Okay, let's take it off. Let me maybe take your hand and show me exactly where about. It's right here. Right there. If we can just sand that in a little bit. If you take your hand and feel it down there, I think you can probably feel what I'm feeling. Yeah. Okay. I guess I have her stroll a little bit and see how she's walking. Yeah, we still need to put a ladder off so mm. you're still kicking to the side. Yeah. Yeah. And then the condyle still feel pretty loose. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So because I broke it, um, we have to make a new leg. So I'll be back here on Thursday. And we tried to kind of MacGyver it and see if we could find out what else needs fixed for the next check socket. But it's kind of hard with the way that I broke it. Anyways, um, successful day. I broke a leg. So like I said, um, I broke a leg. <laughs> So I'm actually coming back on Thursday. We're gonna try redoing it. They put me back in my normal leg and send me on my way. But normally I would walk out with check socket. So hopefully on Thursday, I don't break it and then I can move to the check socket. But um, I guess that means I'm not gonna upload this probably till Thursday. So just come along with me as we fast forward two days. All right, take two of trying to get my check socket. It is Thursday. My new leg should be fabricated, fab fabricated, and yeah, hopefully it goes good this time and I get to bring home a leg. Are you ready for me to break another leg? Are you ready for what? For me to break another leg? No, you're not breaking it because you see how it's not clear? <laughs> <laughs> in a good spot. Okay, excellent. Be back in a couple minutes. I think we may be outside too far. We'll find out pretty fast though. Alright. Yes. I got a three ply. And you should be able to stomp your way in now. Without <laughs> issues. Feel it. I'm not hearing it. Oh, we're on oh, the wrong pin. Wrong pin. I was like, pin. this isn't working. Yeah. Honestly, I'm sure that I was going to try to regain the alignment because the socket was broken. Oh, I 
don't like how it feels on the back of my cap, but I can feel mm. a okay. lot of licks. As they told me last time, soft tissue spillage, which yes. was a really disgusting sounding yeah. phrase. Right okay, okay. How is this front part? Do you notice in that at all? I don't. I do like that the condyles are a little okay. tighter. I tighten up the condyles, I increase the pressure right where you're saying you don't like it. Mm. So don't like those it. are two things that change for sure. One for two at this point. <laughs> so we'll see where we're at. Now is that uncomfortable enough you want to stop and let me go adjust it? Do you want to try walking it? No, no, walking with it. I feel like slipping still a little. I'm also gonna take off this sweat sock because maybe that's what's making me slip. Because I oh, ran I out, of, I ran out of my cotton one, so I'm using that one, which is not my favorite one. Gotcha. Ooh, a little red at the bottom. Oh, there you go. Definitely don't like that bad. Your legs are off for sure. Yeah. The back looks bad, and it almost looks like because of the big. Yeah, I feel like I'm like. Yeah, 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 you are for sure. Yeah, we're gonna adjust that right now. Then we'll get that back taken care of. If it's driving you nuts, we can do it at any point. So we can stop right now and I can go address it, or we can keep going with alignment, get it closer, and then. It's driving. It's nuts. also my fibular head is like grinding a little bit. Okay, is it hitting the front, the back, or it's just right, everywhere? It's right here. Condyles are feeling okay. Mm -hmm. It's just this back part. There's a little flat spot right there. Yeah. A little bit lower. Down here? Yeah. Okay. All right, be back in a couple minutes. All right. So the back is a whole lot less. Okay. That spot. It's still warm. getting me on the outside. Yeah, it's still warm. I was just going to say all that dancing. <laughs> Increase the circulation, got gotcha. you. <laughs> Putting my liner on again. Yeah. Because usually with this one, the little plunger, the little side button, mm -hmm. you can see it kind of move a little bit when it's almost getting it. Mm -hmm. So I'm not just like trying to give you encouragement by being like, it's almost there. <laughs> I, I can actually see that plunger move a little bit. To, with the like, whole socket here. Yeah, I feel like I'm trying to like bring it around. Yeah, yeah. sure, sure. I don't know why. Well, part of that is so this this one looks almost like a tuna can. The mm -hmm. lock is it's quite large. Mm -hmm. Yours is this little tiny device where we can take off a bunch of this. But I feel like I'm hitting here. Ah, okay. I'm not sure why. Am I? Is it just because it's offset so much? Could be that it's offset. Um, there's a couple things I can do to resolve that. Yeah, I see what you mean. It's really close when you're touching half the time. Yeah. I can see like, I yes. push off and I do like a yep, tiny. Yep. And that's throwing our alignment because I'm trying to figure out how to align you. Yeah. And it's tricky. How do you feel height-wise? I feel like I'm good. Yeah? You feel pretty good about it? Or? Yeah. yeah, your heights look good. That alignment is funky. Part of that's that we wrapped it probably too thick because we're like, you're not going to break it this time. <laughs> Because, yeah, I don't really like how you're walking with it either. Yeah. And if that's what it is, if that's where you're throwing it. Yeah. That's because yeah, I feel it on my calf. Uh -huh. My calf's just too big. Well, it's not that. You also have, like, a narrow gate, which actually is, like, that's considered efficient. You get more efficiency with the narrow gate. A big, wide gate, you actually be pretty inefficient. But does it feel wobbly? Like, the other one felt like you were bouncing around inside the socket. Does this one feel like you're bouncing around at all? I feel like I'm staying down a lot more, but there's something over here that's just bothering me. Okay. I couldn't tell you what it is. Okay. We need to look inside the sock and see if there's anything obviously jumping out at us. I'm up way on the outside of my leg already. Yeah, that's really bad. 
We're chopping a line down the middle to mm -hmm. try to get your alignment. And we're trying a different piece, a wedge, instead of an outset mm -hmm. to see if we can keep you from hitting the brush in the other leg. Clearly that is not going to work, so let me, let me try it again. Okay. I think it's going to switch it up and be around different people in general. Well, that feels better. I'm still kind of leaning for side. You're kicking out. And you can't really tell if the cap is hitting, but it's looking much better it already. Looks better. When we do the next one, um, well, it depends. We might end up doing another plastic one, but when we go to lamination, we're obviously gonna be doing the cosmetics where we're bringing this down yeah. to kind of mask that outside of the foot. Yeah. Just like your other one did. How is the spot on the fib head? Are you feeling that at all? It helped it a little bit. Okay, so gotta go more with that. I'm debating, because now I think I feel it more up in the combat than I do in the yeah, I definitely feel it. It's right here. So the trim it's lines, the trim bit. lines biting yeah. it. Okay. Just a little bit. But the fib head. Now look wise, that's looking good. But how's that feel? It feels. I mean, it took off a little pressure here, but still, still going with that. Yeah. How is it down? Um, kind of that mystery zone. I don't notice it anymore. Okay. I did a little bit, but it was subtle. I feel like. The underneath of my calf, it feels like it's squeezing it too much. It feels like something's like holding my calf. You're talking like the very... Yeah, like down here. Up here. Okay. So I don't know if that means it's too tight. Could be, and it could be that the umbrella, if we push up on the umbrella in that area, it can be kind of painful. Mm -hmm. So I could create a little bit more space there. Typically when it comes to umbrellas, just a little bit goes a long way. Looks good. Look at how the parallel bars. Yeah, it's strong enough. You can look pretty like. I'm only joking because that was that was not a proud moment for me. <laughs> that was funny though. Okay, I'm glad you're laughing. I'm glad you were laughing because when it happened, I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Again, but okay. if we're doing okay, and yeah. here's your pin. It kind of feels like somebody's just kind of squeezing here. Also, this is where to rip. All right, today was a successful day. I did not break anything, <laughs> um, but made a lot of progress. This leg feels good so far. I am indeed wearing it right now. Ooh, now it's Sonica. I'm standing on rocks. This leg's feeling good. So I'm going to take it and trial it for about a month. Um, that is a little bit long for for test sockets, but my prosthesis can be out and then I'm going to be out. So, and my camera died. But like I was saying, my prosthesis can be out, then I'm going to be out. So I'm coming back in a month and... We will see how I'm feeling then. If there's no issues, we will fabricate a carbon fiber socket. But if there are issues, we may make another plastic check socket so we can make more adjustments and see. And yeah, for, for someone like me who's active and my body changes a lot, it's really important to take home the prosthetic because my leg changes throughout the month. My leg changes throughout the day. And it may feel great here, but it may not feel great at home. So that's what we're doing. Um, yeah, really excited that I have a new leg. And I don't remember if I grabbed my, oh no, I did grab my other pin. We put it in my leg. But yeah, so have my new leg and I'm going to test it out and try not to break it this time. But thanks for coming along. Hope you guys learned something or were entertained by me breaking my leg because I thought that was funny. My prosthetist didn't think it was so funny. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.